Spirits Bandits were taking it to you. They can be fun, definitely. Uh, I've always installed here. And, uh, now yes. I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. All of this, just to ask about a bloody scroll. What do you need? That's an area. Where'd she go? After I finish showing you the grounds, we can talk. Okay, well, let's get these, my followers out of your way then, shall we? Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. <laughs> for now, touch wood, thank you for saying that, and uh, we'll now see if I crash as a, as a result. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Okay. I'm going to save it now, simply because Quest said that. <laughs> no jinx. Encarno. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay in the... So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Yeah, I do like the uh, the bird um, additions, the bird mod additions that I've got in here, because they it's amazing how much you miss them after, after you've taken them out. They, do, they just add a lot of life to Skyrim. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Well, that gives a chance to show you what we can do. You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Uh, I'm re not really sure what to think. I'm going to weigh in either way. I admire your restraint, but there are times when you must make decisions, even without all the facts. Rely on instinct. If I was relying on instinct, I'd have slaughtered the lot of you. Let's just give it a chance. What's the worst that could happen? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? I don't know any ward spells. That's all right. I can teach you a very basic I don't want to learn one that's enough spell. for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the wall. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the wards. Did he teach me a ward spell? <laughs> yeah, he did. 
Zeit. Ähm, oh, Das ist geil, das ist geil. Oh, du wenn ich mein Magicka replenishes. Ja, yeah, there really ought to be a way to just go straight to the library. I could just knife everybody in the room, but I don't think they'd be too happy about that. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Right. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Is there anything, any rubbish that I can sell you? No, I'm well done, not interested. Leave me alone. All of that for nothing. A waste. I have many important things. Your concerns are not. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You keep telling yourself that. Oh. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Until you are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now. Do you require assistance? Mm. This is quite an impressive library. A mage is only as good as what he knows. I try to make sure as much knowledge is available as possible. We've been keeping this collection since the Second Era. Books have come and gone during that time, but it's mostly intact. I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand girl? Of course I do. Do you have one here? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about the Dragon Ball? What about? Wait, are you? Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. And what so. do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand girl? Tell me more about the Elder Scrolls. I knew it. Everyone comes in here expecting my help, but they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. Right, the Elder Scrolls. It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. The scrolls exist here, with us, but also beyond and beneath. 
before and after. They are bits of divine made substance, so we could know them. Sorry, talking about the scrolls. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge. Irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. Price for what? The simplest way to put it is knowledge, but there's nothing simple about an Elder Scroll. It's a reflection of all possible futures and all possible pasts. Each reader sees different reflections through different lenses and may come away with a different reading. But at the same time, all of it is true, even the falsehoods, especially the falsehoods. All right, so do you have one that I could use? Ah, you think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. Yes, the greatest we've had that the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. I need to find one I was told you. I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. What we do have are plenty of books. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Mm -hmm. I think it's just messing me with you now. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. Effects of the Elder Scrolls. It is widely known among scholars that the Elder Scrolls entail a certain hazard in their very reading. The mechanism of the effect has at present been largely unknown. Theories of hidden knowledge and divine retribution were the subject of idle speculation with little investigation. I, Justinius Polinus, have undertaken to thoroughly document the ailments afflicted by the Elder Scrolls and their readers, though a unified theory of how they manifest continues to elude me remains a subject for future study. I have grouped the effects into four, finding the avenue of experience depends largely upon the mind of the reader. If this is unclear, I hope that a proper dichotomy will lay it plain. Group the first, the nails. For one who has received no training in the history or nature of the Elder Scrolls, the scroll itself is effectively inert. No prophecy can be scribed nor knowledge obtained. While the scroll will not impart learning to the uninformed, nor will it afflict them in any adverse fashion. Visually, the scroll will appear to be awash in odd lettering and symbols. Those who know their astronomy often claim to recognize constellations in the patterns and connections, but such conjecture is impossible to further investigate since the very nature of this study necessitates unlearned subjects. Group the second, the unguarded intellects. It is this second group that realizes the greatest danger from attempting to read the scrolls. These are subjects who have understanding of the nature of the Elder Scrolls and possess sufficient knowledge to actually read what is inscribed there. They have not, however, developed adequate discipline to stave off the mind-shattering effect of having a glimpse of infinity. These unfortunate souls are stuck immediately, irrevocably and completely blind. Such is the price for overreaching one's faculties. It bears mentioning, though, that with the blindness also comes a fragment of that hidden knowledge. Whether the future, the past, or the deep natures of being is dependent on the individual and their place in the greater spheres. But the knowledge does come. Group the third. Mediated understanding. Alone in Tamriel, it would appear that only the cult of the ancestor moth has discovered the discipline to properly guard one's mind when reading the scrolls. Then novitiates must undergo the most rigorous mental cultivation and they often spend a decade or more at the monastery for boy for before being allowed to read their first elder scroll the monks say that this is for the initiates own protection as they must have witnessed many unguarded intellects among their, their more eager ranks with appropriate fortitude these readers also receive blindness though at a far lesser magnitude than the unguarded their vision fogs slightly but they retain shape color enough acuity to continue to read mundane texts. The knowledge they gain from the scroll is also tempered somewhat. It requires stages of meditation and reflection to fully appreciate and express what one saw. 
group, the fourth. Illuminated understanding. Between the previous group and this one exists a continuum that has at present only been traversed by the monks of the Ancestor Moth. With continued readings, the monks become gradually more and more blind, but receive greater and more detailed knowledge. As they spend their waking hours pondering the revelations, they also receive a further degree of mental fortitude. There is, for every monk, a day of penultimate reading, when the only knowledge the Elder Scroll imparts is that the monk's next reading shall be his last. For each monk, the penultimate reading comes at a different and unknowable time. Preliminary work has been done to predict the occurrence by charting the severity of an individual monk's blindness. But all who reach these later stages report that the increasing blindness seems to taper with increased readings. Some pose the notion that some other unseen sense is, in fact, continuing to diminish at this upper range. But I shall leave this, such postulations to philosophers. To prepare for the, his ultimate reading, a monk typically withdraws to seclusion in order to reflect upon a lifetime of revelations and appoint his mind for reception of his last. Upon his final reading, he is forever blinded as sure as those unguarded ones who race to knowledge. The illuminated one, though, has retained his understanding over a lifetime and typically possesses a more integral notion of what has been revealed to him. It is hoped this catalogue will prove useful to those who wish to further our mortal understanding of the Elder Scrolls. The moth priests remain aloof about these matters, taking the gradual debilitation that comes with reading as a point of pride. May this serve as a useful starting point for those start hoping to take up such study. Anstius Mechim, fourth of last seed in the 126th year of the Second Era. Discerning the trans Transmudane, mundane. Well, since we've got the quest, I'm not going to make you go through all of that again. So, oops, wrong one. What was the ask her about the about the insane book at the college? The insane book. Okay. Master Rod. What do you want? The Skewy system is more commonly used by librarians across Tamriel to index books. So why does the college use its own class? Skewy system. <laughs> means every new student or visitor to the college has to familiarize themselves with an entirely new library I'm right catalog behind system you. in order to find anything in the Arcanium. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It would take a month just to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't make sense? It's a perfectly legitimate question. Apprentice, did you just talk back to me? No, sir. Good. Now, go away. Nice reuse of dialogue. I like that. That was quite cool. Wait. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? This Ruminations book is incomprehensible. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls. But, well... He's been gone for a long while. Too long. Where did he go? Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact. But well, that was years ago. Ugh. Haven't heard from him since. Uh, okay. Find Septimus Cygnus. Oh, it's not that far away. We should be able to do that. Master Cuckoo! <laughs> okay, um, yeah, we should be able to get that. That's not a big deal. Right, guys, come on, let's get out of here. This place is mental.
What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Yeah. Several, if you're talented. Yes? I didn't ask you anything. Okay, so I think we go back, get the horses, uh, and ride north. Yeah, it's just started snowing. Let me just uh, okay. Looks like the chat's playing up again. What do you need? Let me just uh, check that. Oh, well, I hope everyone's having uh, okay and can chat if they need to. somebody. Come on, get on your horse. doing okay. It's uh, finding it uh, entertaining, seeing as everyone's got apparently got very quiet. Let's just check where we're headed. Okay, we're going to have to travel the coast, I think, by the looks of things. So let's just get down there, I guess. Already getting cold. <laughs> I've got no idea what was going on there. Fish's Hall discovered. I think we might take the opportunity to warm up a little bit actually. Freezing. Yeah. Oh, you are watching. Excellent. I'm not sure because the the uh, chat seems to be having problems. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm uh, just making sure that everybody's okay. Yes. Really. Just 
going to stand in your house and warm myself up if it's all the same to you. I'm not sure where Sadie got that lamp from. Not from me. Severin, no problem. Uh, and yes, this area is a mod. It's uh, added by um, one of the village um, additions. Severin, welcome to the stream. And uh, if you want to lurk and watch, that's perfectly okay. Good yes. to have you here. And, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yep, horses really don't care about uh, <laughs> about physics. Skyrim horses, anyway. Let's get everyone in one place, and we'll see where we go from there. Really. Obviously, didn't know what you were doing. everybody and that'll be fine. Okay. We've got a fair amount of travelling today. going in completely the wrong direction, aren't I? I need to head over there. Okay, that was very bizarre. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry about that. Maybe trying to put him off scratching and everything all day. <laughs> 